And how would you gentlemen like those steaks prepared? Prepared? Oh, you mean cooked? Yes, sir. Cooked is most definitely what I should have said. Do excuse me, please. How would you like those steaks cooked? Well, just knock its horns off, wipe its nasty old ass, and chunk it right down on the plate. Same for me, please. I will give Chef your instructions exactly. Well, we're going to do a little bit more than just knock its horns off and wipe its nasty ass. What we're going to do is take a prime ribeye, and we're going to use some kosher salt, and we're going to salt it real good on both sides. It's a big piece of meat, so don't be shy. Now we're going to put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours and dry age it. And you're going to see the difference in the color. That's before, and here comes the after. Look how much redder it got. Now, got our oven up to 225 degrees. We're going to stick our probe or our meter right through the center into the meatiest part of that steak. And we're going to set that in the oven until we reach our internal temperature of about 130 to 132 degrees. I'm shooting for a medium rare. Once we take it out, we're going to let it rest for a few minutes. Then we're going to put it into a cast iron or I have a helix, which works real good for searing. And hit it with a little bit of uh, oil, get the heat up, and we're going to put that on for about three and a half to four minutes each side to get that nice caramelized sear. Then we're going to remove, look at that, set it on a plate, let it rest for about five minutes. I've got two small pads of butter put on top, and I garnish mine with some asparagus I cooked up, and you have yourself a reverse seared steak. You got to try it this way. It's awesome. All right. Thanks again for watching. Come back soon, and remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.